welcome to another CSK editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix a few reshade issues that I get asked about quite a lot. So in this video, I won't be showing you how to set up reshade since I've already made one for that. And if you want to know how to set up reshade, I suggest watching the tutorial first. And then if you have issues uh, with it, you can come back to this video. And if you have a specific issue, I'll be leaving timestamps in the description. So you can just skip to whichever problem you have. Now a question I get quite a few times is how to get the DLLs for reshades. And the simple answer is by opening the reshade setup, pressing and holding control on your keyboard, and then just clicking the button that says click here to select game. If you do that, you should get the DLL files like so. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so when you're in HLE, you usually go to tools, developer, a custom loader. Now you want to check your DLL inject order. You want to AFX hook source the DLL. Make sure you don't select the uh, gold source. The gold source one is for CS 1.6. Unless you're using CS 1.6, you don't need to select it. You want to select source because that's what CSGO runs on. Now for the reshade DLL, make sure you select the 32 dot DLL. Uh, there is a 64 one in here. Don't inject that one. You want the uh, 32 one. And then if you have an AMD card like I do, you need to select D3D9.DLL, which is in System32. And if you have an NVIDIA card, you do not need this. You can just remove it if you have it here. Uh, but I have AMD, so I need it. And uh, once that is done, you can press OK and wait for CSGO to launch. All right, and once you're in uh, a demo, you can open up Reshades. Uh, the default bind is home but you can go to the settings and change it to whatever you want. Um, now, if you set up reshade correctly, you should see all these uh, shaders listed here. Uh, but if you only see a few of them, uh, what you need to do is head over to uh, the GitHub page for the reshade shaders and click this link here that says download this repository. This is the link you need to download. If you go up to the code button and download zip, uh, your, what you download is the slim pack, which only has a few shaders. The other option is to uh, select the uh, drop down and select master and then download the uh, zip. Then you'll get all the shaders that you want. And, uh, and then all you have to do is drag and drop these into the uh, reshade folder and press the reload button. And then you should be able to see all these. Yeah. Now this is probably the most frequent question I get about reshade and it's about how to fix this white screen when they enable display depth. What you need to do is make sure you import the correct global preprocessor definitions. So this is the, uh, these are the ones, these are the definitions you want, even if you have an NVIDIA card, 1000, 0, 0, and 0. I'll leave these in the description, which you can copy and paste. Make sure those are selected correctly. And before, what you need to do was set up a VGUI toggle. Um, you no longer need to do that. So just head over to the D3D9 tab at the top of the reshade bar and check the box that says copy depth buffer before clear operations. And if you've set up everything properly, you should be able to see the depth map like that. Now, if you don't see this and you, see, you still see a white or a black screen, press escape, go to the settings. Go to video settings, scroll down until you see multi-sampling anti-aliasing. Make sure that is set to none, as well as FXAA, set that to none as well. Um, that will cause issues with reshades. You always need to have this disabled. Now another issue is uh, the shade is failing to compile. And what usually fixes it is moving the reshade folder that you've created to a different location. So possibly to a different drive that will usually fix it. Now how to record reshades. You have a couple ways of doing it. The easiest way is probably to just use an external recording program. So you can use stuff, something like Fraps, uh, OBS, DxTory, Shadowplay, and just then capture uh, CSGO. Um, you, can, you can turn on the time scale and record at like 60 FPS, and then you can speed it up and then you should get a decent frame rate to edit with. Um, the other option is to use the start movie commands. I have a tutorial on how to do this. 
um, that is probably the best way since it will give you the best quality um, but it does uh, take up quite a lot of space and um, I get asked about how to use uh, most strings with three shades and the simple answer is you can't it doesn't work if you try to record with most streams it will record these streams but reshade will not appear on any of the layers so just keep that in mind if you want to use most streams and have all the separate layers then just use most streams um, if you want reshade specifically then you can't use the layers so you have to pick one of the two Now to get the wet or shiny floors that you see in a lot of uh, montages and edits, um, you need to download the quint shaders and then just enable SSR or screen space reflections. And then you can just mess around with the settings until you get to whatever you want. So if you want something crazy like that, you can do it. Um, you just have to mess around with the settings to get it to however you like. Um, I tend to not, I wouldn't go too crazy with it because it'll look pretty bad like like that it gets pretty messy and noisy uh, that's up to you you can just mess around with the settings now if you have an issue with uh, having lines or artifacting all over the walls and floors uh, with SSR or MXAO uh, what you need to do is double check that you have your preprocessor definition set up correctly so you want to have 1000, 0, 0 and 0 uh, make sure you use these ones even if you have nvidia cards these will work um, it will fix the issue with having the uh, lines all over the walls before you had to add the scope with a, a scope overlay in editing if you've checked the box that says copy death buff in the d3d9 tab then you should be able to see the scope and the crosshair in the game uh, the problem is that as you can see if you have depth of fields enabled it does mess up uh, the crosshair it will also mess up the kill feed as well as you can see there uh, hopefully uh, this fixes any issues you have with reshade uh, if you have any other issues uh, write them in the comments or on discord and i'll try to reply to you as soon as possible uh, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one